First, import your image using File and Import. Different types of bitmap are available, including bitmap, JPEG, PSD and TIFF. In this instance, we're using bitmap. Make your image a manageable size. Then right click on the image and select trace from the bottom of the menu. In most instances, trace in two colors. Make the 16 a 2 and press enter on the keyboard. Click Start Tracing. Click on Object Editor. When asked if you want to keep result, click Yes. Go to Arrange and Break Apart. First, click away from the image so nothing's selected. Now decide what parts of the image you want to cut. Start with the outside. Click on the line and hold down the shift key. Now click on all other parts of the image that you want to cut. When you're happy, go to Arrange and Combine. Now click away so nothing's selected. Drag a box over the unwanted areas of image and press delete on the keyboard. Now change your view back to HQ Paint. Select a grey area. Go to Arrange and Intersect. Now bring your cursor across the screen. When your cursor turns to a cross, click. Your image should now appear. Right click on your image and choose properties from the menu. Set the required size of the finished image. At this point, put a click in cut around. If your image has internal parts that need cutting, take off outermost contour only. Click OK. It's a good idea to give your image a background colour that matches the garment you're printing onto, so that white doesn't show through. First, select the colour you require from your colour palette, then right click on your image and select Inline Outline. Set the required distance of the outline. If you look closely, you may see your image needs some extra tidying up. You normally find by setting your cut width to about a quarter of a millimetre will do this tidying up for you. You can also set the colour of your cut width by right clicking on any colour in the colour palette. Again, in this instance we chose black. If you zoomed in, at this point, zoom to page. Now press Print Layout. First of all, go to Options and set up your printer. Make sure your marker distance is set to at least 6 and try markers are enabled. Go back to Layout and choose Set Margins. Make sure your margins are set to 15, 15, 15 and 45. Now click Optimal Layout. Go to Print and click Print. Now set up your cutter. First, cover the back sensor on your cutter with a small piece of tape. This enables you to maximise your cutting sheet. Now insert your sheet into your cutter.
Make sure marks 2 and 3 run across the front edge and number 1 is at the back. Lock into position. As your back sensor is covered, make sure you only choose roll 2 and then press enter. Now set your condition. Press the condition button and use the up and down arrows to scroll between conditions. When the correct condition is displayed, press enter. Now back to the PC. Select cut around. And then calibrate cutter. Wait for the fan to start. When the fan stops, press the smart button. Then move to the cutter. The cutter display will now read, read first R mark. Using the arrow keys on the cutter, position the blade just inside the corner of number 2 as shown. When you're happy, press the enter button on the cutter. The smart sensor will now start detecting all three marks, starting with number 2, then number 1, then number 3. When all three marks have been read, return to the PC and click OK. You should now read three positive coordinates. Click OK again. You can now click the Start button. Before the cutter finishes, Cutting Done will be displayed on the PC screen. This shows that all the data has been transferred to the cutter. Remove from your cutter and weed in the normal way.